What's up, leets and geeks? It is the first Friday of 2024, and you know what that means. It is classic tabletop RPG Friday here on RPG Elite. We're getting back into our classic Traveler series. Almost at the end, almost. We're getting there from May of last year, or May or June, somewhere around there is when we started. And we're almost done. Now, I can only do like one or two games a year, and when it comes to my deep dives on the classics because that is a mainstay here in rpg elite we will always be doing deep dives on the classics but since i can only do a couple per year or maybe at the most three depending on the game um there are always games that are falling into the classic category because those are 20 years old or older and every year there are a few more games and so i gotta pick and one thing that i never have a problem uh, having my own YouTube channel is I never have a problem with content. I always, always have content ideas all over the place. It's just picking and choosing when to put them on the schedule. And sometimes things will come up and then I'll have to move things around. So I never have a problem with content. Never, never, never. Hey, if this is your first time coming to the channel, then uh, I should welcome you. What's up? This your boy serving over here, and this channel is RPG Elite. This is the place where I focus on putting the RP back into RPG for tabletop RPG. And the things that I like to do to do that is to give you tools and tips and tutorials and some real talk about the tabletop RPG space on culture. Now I feel I have to preface this next part because when people didn't come in at the beginning of the series. The series is long. So let me go ahead and let me let you in on what this series is about. It's about the classic Traveler starter set. From day one, I said we're gonna be doing the starter set. So it's not the three books. So there are some things that are not in the starter set. Some things that are done a little differently in the starter set. Now you can get the original three books in a facsimile copy PDF over at drive through RPG. However, there's a better one of that version out there and I am going to tell you how you can get it. And yes, it's free, but you got to meet me on the other side at the end of the video. But right now we're going to get into some classic traveler trade and commerce. How do you make a little bit more Skrilla than just your basics? Let's find out right now. Let's get ready and roll them. A PC trader with a ship and cargo space can look for transport cargo on a planet if they have the room on their ship after checking for normal cargo or they may just want to see what's out there before they decide what they're going to fill their ship up with. The circumstances of acquiring this cargo is up to the referee, but of course it just is going to be more interesting for the story if you just role play it out a little bit. You know, I'm just saying. Now in this situation, since the PC is the one spending the money, they should get to roll. To find cargo, the PC is going to roll a D66 on the trade and speculation table. Let's pull that up right here. A little bit, just a little bit. So the D66 is gonna go down this column right over here. That's where they're gonna roll. And you're gonna read the dice one after another, creating a range from, as it says here, 11 to 66. Now this is one of those instances where it would be beneficial to have different colored dice, one representing the tens die and the other representing the ones die. High population worlds, those are worlds with a nine or higher on the population, they receive a plus one DM on the tens die. Low population worlds of five or less receive a minus one DM. If it's modified to greater than six or less than one, then it's six or one respectively, because you can't go any higher than that on the D66. So in the case that we're using here, we're on the world of Rustia, if you remember from the last video. So let's look at Rustia, and Rustia here has a population of five. So it looks like Rustia 
is going to give us a minus one DM on the trades goods that are be available on Rustia. So the speculative trader will throw once per week. So whatever comes up, that's going to be the cargo available for the week that they could find on whatever planet that they are on. So we're going to roll one die after the other because I can't change the color of the die in Foundry. So I'm going to do it like this. And remember, we have a minus one because of the planet population. So let's see what we get here for the tens die. So we've got a five here. All right. So it's going to be, ooh, ooh, look at, look at down here. Shooker, shooker. Ah. Uh, all right. So we're going to get to why that's good in a second. But we're going to roll the other die here. And we're just going to make a normal roll on this one. Three. So it looks like we're carrying computers. Oh, my God goodness oh my gosh that is expensive <laughs> that is expensive do you have me <laughs> 10 million credits wow and wow now this is this is crazy really actually who would have thought it's the most expensive thing on the <laughs> On the table here we're just gonna assume that sab who is the one that we use in last week's video we're just gonna assume he just has unlimited money <laughs> let's assume he just has unlimited money for the purposes of example we're going to need to we're next going to determine the quantity of available goods for transport now this is going to be how much cargo in tons is available except for items 51 through 56. Why? Because each of these weighs a couple of tons. Now, the reason why this would be here in this section is because you got to understand back when this game was made, you're talking about the old mainframes when computers were huge and all the rest of that. So we didn't have personal computers that we can fit on our wrist like a smartwatch or in our hand like a phone that wasn't available. You need to change that up if you want to change it up but we're just going with exactly what's in here for the time being now the exact weight of each of these individually here they're going to be determined either by the referee or he's just gonna he or she is going to either tell you what those are from the gear and vehicles table and that stuff is what we're going to cover next week so you can see what that looks like in this instance you can make partial purchases so what that means is that last week when we talked about if you have let's say a 40 ton cargo you had to take it all or nothing in this case you can separate it depending on how many that there are so we're going to determine how many computers there are here and it's just 1d6 so let's just roll this and see what we get wow there's six of them Woo. Woo. all right we're going to need to determine the tonnage of each. And I'm going to go back to the computer table to determine that. Again, I have no idea why it is so expensive, but we're going to roll with this. At what it says, 10 million is the base price. But since we have six of these, we need to determine what their weight is. And so let's go ahead and computers over here and to check this out to see what we got. All right, so we have several different kinds of computers and you have their tonnage right here. Now, of course, this is on a ship, but we're just gonna use this just to kind of figure it out, sort of deal, okay? I am going to figure this out. If I was doing it, what I would do is I would go to the tech level of the world. Let's look at Rustia here. And they have an interstellar community and it is 10. All right, so let's close that back out. So they can go up to A here. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, isn't that something? I can go ahead and one, one, roll 1d6 one and figure it out. So let's roll 1d6 and just see what we got. Five. So we have some pretty high level computers here. Three tons per. Remember, there's six of them. 
There's going to be 18 tons to take all nine or take all six of them. And that is what? 60 million credits. Oh my gosh. 60 million credits. Oh man, that is crazy. But again, for the purposes of example, we're going to go ahead and roll with this. 10 million credits. What is going on? <laughs> What in the world is going on? Man, if you've got that many credits to burn, for crying out loud, I, I think maybe it, it must, it, maybe that's a typo. Maybe it should be a million. I'm gonna guess that it's probably a million, but I just went with what was in the book. Maybe that's a typo. Who knows? <laughs> if you got any value out of this video at all, could you do a brother solid and could you crush that like button also? Hey, feel free, stick around, y'all. We've got a whole lot of things happening here on the RPG Elite Network. It is a network, folks, because we're everywhere. We're on Guild. We're on Twitter. We're on Reddit. Not so much on Reddit. I'm not on Reddit all that much. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're on Facebook. And, you know, I've been holding off on this for a long time, and I think I'm going to give it to somebody else to do to look it over and do some things for me, but we're getting ready to get on Instagram because it'd be kind of silly not to with how big the platform is. So we just signed up for Instagram, but main place you can find us is right chair. And so why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I come out God willing with videos every Tuesday and guess what? Friday. So I told you about how to get yourself a better version of that facsimile copy over at drive through rpg you've got it here on the rpg elite network it's the only place that you can get it by the way and you can only get it over on our gilded server so how in the world did you get access to that because that's a private server that you have to apply for and be approved well it's real simple y'all you just have to join the elite squad i don't know Okay, so how do you join the Leech Squad? It's real simple. Down in the description below, there is a link. It says Leech Squad, sign up. You're gonna click on that link. It's gonna take you to a landing page. You're gonna have to fill in your name. You're gonna fill in your email. It's gonna be a blue button at the bottom. You're gonna click on that and that is it. You are part of the Leech Squad, but that's not how you will get access to that copy, that special copy with all the bookmarks and everything because the other one doesn't have any bookmarks. Hard to get around, very cumbersome. But the RPG Elite Special Edition does. It makes it a whole lot more enjoyable to read the thing. So how you will get that particular version, you gotta join our Gilded server. You gotta go over there, you gotta apply. And the only way that you can get into the Gilded server is you gotta be part of the lead squad, which means you gotta be on that mailing list. If you are not, you can't come through because that is just how we roll, folks. You gotta be kidding me. And because of that, it is drama free. We have great conversations. People are starting to connect with one another over there. We've already got over a hundred people on the Gilded server. And so if you want that, and also if you just want to find like-minded individuals, you can discuss things and maybe even play some games because we've got a couple people over there gonna be running some games. Then you should join the lead squad today. Let's get with the question of the vid. This one is all you all the time. I want you to tell me what science fiction character that you've played in the tabletop RPG is your favorite. If you've done more than one, pick one. It could be any science fiction tabletop role playing game, whether it be Traveler, it'd be preferable if it was, if that's the case. I mean, don't make it that way, but if it's, that's the case. But if it's Alternity or if it's some other science fiction tabletop RPG, go ahead and let me know who was your favorite character that you played in the science fiction tabletop RPG and why? Why? Let's get some engagement going down in the comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. That'll be it for me, y'all. That means it's time for me to do my snuggle pose. So what's the up? Hey, if you got a game this weekend, happy gaming, y'all. I pray it is an RPG Elite session. Until next time, 
You know what time it is, right? It's time to say peace. 5,000 leets. That means I'm outie.